Welcome back to Guns of Gear Network, everyone. Thank you for tuning in today. I wanted to bring you this informational and review video today about a product that I found called Fluid Film. And Fluid Film is a product that is a rust and corrosion protection um, agent. And it is it comes in different forms. I have some aerosol spray cans that I'm going to show you today. And then also it comes in... Um, like gallons, half gallons, if you want to spray it yourself, brush it on, whatever. And um, you guys, if you follow my channel, you know I'm doing the uh, FJ Cruiser bug out vehicle uh, series. And one of the things that I wanted to ensure the that my FJ Cruiser, that it lasted a very long time. And part of that uh, that can cause problems with any vehicle is rust especially in the frame area and there's been some documentation and it's on some of the FJ Cruiser forums of some people that's had some rust problems and I'm familiar with the car industry and one of the leading problems in the car industry as far as resale values and things like that uh, especially cars that come from up north that's exposed to a lot of harsh elements like salt and everything is the um, rust on the especially in the frame and under under the undercarriage area a lot of times the body's okay because it's painted but underneath um, you'll see a lot of rust and as soon as somebody um, especially in the south that's looking at those cars and as soon as they see on a car fax that the vehicles from up north or whatever they start crawling underneath it and see rust then they shy away from it a lot of times and it really hurts resale value so one of the things you can do is protect your vehicle underneath and now there's a few different ways to do that um, there's painting that you can do and then there's also a product like this that is not a spray paint or anything it is actually a lubricant it is a uh, penetrating um, product that penetrates uh, the metal and it never dries so it'll dissipate or wear out over time so it'll need to be reapplied periodically but then again so will paint the difference is this gets in all the cracks and crevices and protect and it creates a film and so that's the difference where paint sometimes will chip off or you can get moisture underneath the paint and things like that. Fluid film has been around a long time and I'll put in the section below. I think they've been around since like 1943. So they've been around a long time. They're widely used in a lot of different industries, uh, the marine industry, places, industrial, things like that. So they're kind of uh, been around uh, the, the game a long time, but a lot of people are not familiar with them in maybe the automotive industry. And I think I wanted to show you uh, what I'm doing to mine when I reached out to those folks and asked them about sending some products. And uh, I want to show you how I'm applying mine. Again, I didn't have a way to spray mine, so they sent mine in aerosol cans. And they come in these 11 point seven five ounce cans and again i'll stick in the section below where you can order it and things like that uh, they also come if you look they come with the little spray nozzle and it actually has a little clip here that'll hold your uh, sprayer so i've already set one up i've already worked on one half of my vehicle and i'm going to kind of show you what i did and how i do mine um, and i'll show you how you can make this stuff go a little further if you're trying to spread it out and uh, use it so what i did was I just lifted my vehicle up. I didn't have a uh, actual lift, so I just lifted up with some uh, standard ramps that you just like to change your oil just to get a little elevation. I can usually crawl under mine pretty good, but this makes it work a little easier. So maybe dark under here, but I'm going to show you the best I can. So if you look, I've sprayed all this, all this frame, and you'll have to excuse me, guys. I've been battling a cold for a few days, so if I sound a little funny, I apologize. But if you look, I've sprayed everything on this side and all that. And what you do is it's pretty simple. And I'm going to go on the other side and show you. But once you spray it, then I take and spread it around with the brush and work it into all the cracks. And it also helps your product go further uh, because the spray nozzle is going to be a concentrated spray. And we'll walk around to the other side and crawl underneath and I'll show you some of that. But I've already worked on all this side of the frame on the back side up in here and all that. And... Um, Hang on a minute, guys, and I'll get around to the other side, and I'll show you kind of what's going on with this. And with the brush method, the spray and the brush method, I think you'll get um, be able to spread this product out pretty good and not uh, have uh, a lot of waste. So if it's dark under here, I apologize, but I'm just sitting here, and I'm spraying everything down that's uh, frame, area...
We try spraying on top, underneath, in these little uh, holes here. Get some down in there. And it's going to be next to impossible to get on the back side of this metal. Uh, I don't care if it's paint or this type stuff, fluid film or whatever. And I'm just showing you. All right, so if you see that, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this brush here, and I'm going to start sp spreading it around. And then that way I can reach some areas that I might not could have sprayed. So now I'm going to spread everything around with the brush. And that's just a standard, you know, paintbrush. Nothing special. Um, I think this one is a, maybe a natural hair style brush of some sort. But um, you want to get in all the areas where the frames is, frame is and uh, all that area. But if you look, I don't have any rust under this vehicle. I take very good care of it, keep it sprayed uh, with paint, but um, it also doesn't protect everything. So I've sprayed that area back in there now. Come in here. Because we just had a uh, mild snow, but they salted our roads. And every time they do, this stuff, uh, that salt gets sprayed underneath your vehicle really bad. And uh, especially salt, um, rust can occur naturally through oxidation, um, but definitely is accelerated by salts, road salts. I know this uh, camera work isn't the best, but it's kind of dark under here and all that, so I'm trying my best to kind of show you guys on camera. But see, it, uh, and it doesn't really have a bad smell or anything. If you wanted to wear a mask and some safety goggles, you could. Um, I've got safety glasses on, but I do not have a mask on. But you could put a mask on if you so choose. But just hit all the areas that's metal underneath here, especially the frame area, to keep it well protected. And guys, I literally think I'm, I'm close to out on this can, um, but I'm probably three quarters of the way done with my vehicle now. So probably two to three cans should last you plenty uh, good uh, with most average size vehicles. And um, what you need to do is probably apply this once every year, once every year and a half at the most, and uh, keep reapplying it over again, you know, over a period of time. So just think of it as a once a year service on your undercarriage. And I promise you what you what little you spend on this to protect your vehicle, it'll make up in resale value later. Especially you guys that live in the northern areas where they salt the road a lot and you go to trade in that vehicle or sell it. And if they crawl underneath it and see that this thing has no rust and you can say, hey, look, crawl underneath that and see if you see any rust and they don't see any, that's going to go a long way in your trade-in value because it really hurts. I mean, I would think in some vehicles, it, it and I've seen some vehicles rusted out so bad that they literally was a total loss. The, um, the outside looked almost perfect and underneath was so rusted out with the frame and structural damage that it was basically kind of like a total loss. But the problem is it, you can't claim it on insurance because it didn't happen in a wreck. So, but it will not pass safety inspections once they get so bad. And something like this would prevent that and keep you from having to go through all that. But anyway, guys, uh, my voice is about to give out because of my cold, but I appreciate Fluid Film for sending this over. I'm super excited to get it and be able to use it. I know it's a great product and uh, will go a long way with uh, maintaining my vehicle to the standard that I like. Guys, I appreciate you tuning in. If you like our videos, give us that thumbs up. It's over there in that section below. As always, like, share, and subscribe, and we'll bring another video shortly. Have a great day, guys.